This is Yone, and this is one of his most difficult mechanics. In this video, I'll show you 5 Yone combos ranging from easy to impossible. I'll share with you some secret tips on Yone's combos, and I'll try doing them in actual games. While making this video, I've spent 40 hours in game, made 200 attempts at a single combo, and probably annoyed twice as many players. This was definitely one of the hardest challenges I've had to face in League of Legends. So let's start with the easiest combo. Yone Q gives him stacks on hit. On two stacks, his next Q will have a dash and a knockup. Q also has a cast time. This little bar at the bottom shows how long it takes for a dash to start. And if you slash, during that cast time, you can change the starting point of Q. Combine it with Yone's ult, and you have a fast, high damage, and super easy combo. Even though it worked out on the first try, I wanted to make it beautiful, not just one shot a single ADC. And just after a few tries, I did this. Okay, that's it. In the first combo, I used Flash during Q cast time. Now I'll show you what happens if you use it a bit later. Yone will change position, but Q win slash won't. And that's really useful because both Yone and Q win slash will knock up enemies and deal damage. Combine it with ult, and we have the second combo. I was really struggling to find a place to use it, as I was able to get only one or sometimes two good tries in a single game. But this is what happened just after two games. Both Yasuo and Draven got hit by Q and Ult, and this is exactly what I was looking for. Gale Force is an item in League that allows you to dash to a targeted location. By using it after Q cast time, you can cancel Q's animation and cast other abilities faster. So the full combo would be the first combo with Gale Force in the middle. I was able to do it a couple of times in my first few games, but I couldn't get it perfect. I wanted to get it as clean as possible, so I kept trying. And after 10 games, I did this. Normally you have to wait for the Q animation to end until you can cast other abilities, but you can use another item called Proest Claw to change that. As you may know, when you use Proest Claw, you dash to an enemy. The secret is to use Q during that dash. When done correctly, Riot Spaghetti Code freaks out and it allows you to cast other abilities. Now Q cast time causes a problem. It's quite long and it has to finish before you reach the target with Proest Claw. So to solve it, you either have to be really precise and use Q just a few frames after Plus Claw, or you can extend Plus Claw duration by using Flash and have a lot more time to use Q. Keep in mind that Q cast time gets shorter the more attack speed you have, so you need at least some of it to make it work. Those combos are starting to get really difficult, and it took me about an hour in practice tool to get it somewhat consistent. I really thought it's gonna take me 10, maybe 20 games, but it turned out my training paid off. And just after a few games, I did this. Okay, you won. This was the combo I wanted to do. It looked great, but I didn't hit anyone, so I thought I should try again. And this is how it went. Then I started trying the precise approach, but I actually did it first try. To this point I played 16 games and completed 4 out of 5 combos. I really thought I could complete the last combo in maybe a few games, but it quickly turned out to be the hardest challenge I've ever had to face in League of Legends. 
Yone's E is an ability that creates a ghost. If you pass E a second time, Yone will come back to that ghost. And normally you can't use any abilities during that comeback. But you can use Pro Skill again to change that. By using Pro Skill at max range, and then pressing E immediately after, E's animation will change and will allow you to cast other abilities. Add Q and Ult to get this. I really thought it would take me 5 or maybe 10 games, but this time luck just wasn't on my side. This combo is quite easy, but it's almost impossible to keep your enemies at the perfect distance. After 40 games, I really didn't know if I could make it, and I thought maybe there is something wrong with my setup, or maybe I can change the combo to make it a bit easier. But again, with better setup, easier combo, and another 20 games, I still couldn't do it. I spent a whole week just playing Yone and I didn't see any progress. But just for the last time I went to practice tool to hopefully find something different. After all, this is what this channel is about. I'm constantly looking for new tricks and mechanics so maybe, just maybe there was another way. And somehow, just after a few minutes in practice tool, I found this. By using Pro Skill on the enemy that is out of your range, you buffer it. That means when Yone gets in the Pro Skill range, it will cast by itself. So for the full combo, you want to buffer Pro Skill, and then when you get close enough, you flash in the Pro Skill range, and then press E a few frames later. This setup was pretty precise, but I finally wouldn't rely on luck. After some training, I began trying. And this is what happened in the next few games.